You're right. Well, um, so I just wanted to give some feedback. Uh, I know this was from Mr. Diligent, who um, who posted this as a CPR, and it's not quite a CPR. So the key to any um, trading strategy is um, the fact that you want uh, traders to be convinced of the level, because traders, you know, there's many different trading strategies, but they all revolve typically around uh, support and resistance. So support and resistance, pretty much, I'm drawing it on a, on a price chart, you get in strong rejections, and then you might get a breakthrough, and then, you know, the, the, the top of that level becomes um, support, right? That's basically how it works. But it has to be obvious that that is a rejection and that is a rejection, right? And then the prices come back, then they might trade off that level and then, you know, then it might drop down and it might trade off that level, yeah? So that's pretty much what we're looking at. Now, this is slightly different because what you've done is you've just put the wick there and the wick there. Now, although, and this is an hourly chart as well, now, although I can see what you're saying, but it's not obvious, right? To, if you were to move, um, go up to another time frame, let's say a four hour, you would not see this as a as a as a level. Um, you know, one of the key things as well. Another key thing is is that you know, for the best levels, it has to be obvious on really kind of like lower and higher time frames. I know that if you're trading sometimes like a 15 minute uh, or a five minute time frame, it's not going to, levels aren't always going to be obvious on a, a daily, for example, or a weekly because they're quite extreme. But typically you, it wants to, you know, you, that level wants to be, um, first of all, obviously, you know, uh, rejected, right? Right. Like a, a, a large rejection. So you've, you've included this, like that is a large rejection, right? Whereas this is not really, um, you know, any kind of rejection that wick. And so if I was drawing support and resistance, I would have to draw it like that. That would be where, you know, the resistance, because that's obvious to everybody, if you went down to a 15 minute or if you went up to, you know, some sort of four hour or daily, you would see that there was a rejection there. And you can see it also as well here where you get that large rejection. And so um, I would never draw the, the, the resistance or support from that area there just based off of one hourly candle wicks. It's all about the price rejection. And so what you would want to really see is then prices do something like that. Because this is now becomes obvious, right? This becomes obvious. This becomes because you look to the left and you can see that that is resistance that becomes support. Traders go long and then let's go back a bit. Um and then what happens is, let's say, for example, you can start to see, you know, prices now are, you know, traders are buying here, somewhere around here. And if you get something like this, we get the breakout traders, then you get those traders being caught on the wrong side of the market. Then prices pull back to that area. And that's the capture. That's the pain. And that's the relief. That's what you want to see. But the level starts from down here. Yeah, so look for the rejections, massive, you know, the bigger, the big price rejections, not these, um, not these uh, candlestick wicks. Yeah, so price has to really kind of move away from that level. Yeah, price didn't really move away from that level. It touched the level, but it didn't move away from it there. Price touched the level. Yeah, it moved away, but it's not really... Um, you know, what I mean, uh, uh, what I would consider a support a support level, especially if you look to the left. So again, just to reiterate, you want levels that some that um, the best levels anyway are the ones that you know you can have the rejections. Yeah, so you can obviously see that that would be resistance. But even better if you're looking at, for example, you know, um, looking at historical levels, you want to see resistance as well as support for you to then start to look to see what kind of setups are around here, whether that's going to be a potential for a stop hunt. Yeah. And then potential for a CPR. All right. Take care and uh, hope that helps.